the era of peach juice is among us. And she wants us to know that she was homeless. Oh, yes, you guys, if you didn't know, Portia Peach Juice Neck, if you buck Simon Gobot, nobody is. Sugar Mama has started her press tour for the pursuit of Portia. Now, what do we expect from the pursuit of Portia? I'll be honest with you, not much. Because... <laughs> it's Portia Williams. And when has, as shout out to not paid by anyone, when has Portia ever had a close relationship to the truth? Her, when somebody says, Portia, do you know the truth is? Sometimes Portia says the truth. I don't know her, at least when the Bravo cameras are filling. She talked about how she was going to expose a little bit more about her life in her book, The Pursuit of Portia. If you guys haven't read it, don't worry. We, we're going to start a book club and read chapter by chapters. But in the preview, for Pursuit of Portia, she let it be known that she, when she left her husband, Cordell Williams, she was homeless. She was homeless, you guys. I literally, when this happened, I literally said, really? Dag, I feel a little bit bad if she was actually homeless. Because as much as I love clowning people, someone being homeless, somebody being in an abusive situation, somebody showing the very ugly sides of being involved in the very ugly sides of human nature that's not funny to me and that is not anno that is not amusing to me but you guys what happened when she was homeless well it seems like when she left her divorce with Cordell where she refused to fight him because I'll do a video on this but information came out about why Cordell was divorcing her and allegedly word on the street is it had to do with Married Africans, yes, married Africans and Portia Williams are never far apart. But anyway, let's hear what Portia says. Portia says that she actually was homeless when she left Cordell. She had nothing to do, nowhere to go and nothing to do. And I'm saying, hmm, that's interesting, especially since you have a beautiful mother with a beautiful, nice house, Miss Diane. And I'm saying, if there's one thing we know about Miss Diane, about Portia, Portia is the apple, uh, the object of her affection, the apple of her eye. What happened between Miss and Diane, Miss Diane and her first and only daughter to have baby boo, baby bop, right? Sitting out on the streets. You guys, let me answer this question. Nothing happened. Portia once again was used, I don't know if it was clickbait or I don't know if she's so used to just telling lies off the top of her head and people believing her that people wouldn't say, but your mama live in Atlanta and you and your mama. So what was the truth? The truth is that Portia was actually staying in her mom's house in the master suite. Not even that, Portia was also working for the Real Housewives of Atlanta, a very lucrative paycheck. She had enough to get a room at the Howard Johnson, right? And as we know, Portia is no stranger to the Howard Johnson because she stays in that pool with her six-year-old father of five, granddaddy fiance too. So what really is effort note, y'all? I actually find it offensive to anyone that's ever been housing insecure that someone would lie, outright lie and misread and use the term homeless in such a very, in such a very uh, horrible way to actually sell books or to even make their story be more interesting. Listen, Portia has lived a life. You can tell by the way she lies on a dime. There's some real trauma there. I'm not taking it away. I think a lot of things that Portia experienced, we would actually be interested in hearing if she could be real, if she could tell the truth, if she could show us who she really is. But y'all, I just don't think that that's actually something that's ever going to happen. I don't know. Let me think in the, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that Portia will ever come clean? Because I think the truth is going to be way more interesting in fiction, but Portia ain't never, ever, ever gonna stop that fiction.